Hey guys, Dean here, back again. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys a beginner tutorial because there's a lot of you guys starting out on Shopify when you create a brand new store, but you don't know how to remove the branding off Shopify. And this is probably one of the biggest questions I've actually got asked recently. When they create a new store, they always say, I have the powered by Shopify at the bottom of the page. How do I remove it? I want it to look more professional. I don't want it to have the Shopify branding all over the website. So we're on a fresh store right now. I'm going to show you as quick as possible how to get that done because we don't want to stretch this out too long. I'm going to show you first what I mean. So you see on the left hand side, right, we have where it says online store. So if we press this little eye where it says view your online store, this will show a preview of the shop, right? So this is what we're working with right now. So I've created this test store. You can go to the URL. It'll probably be deleted by the time you see this video, but it's just called tutorial products, just kind of like a skeleton store just to show you how to do this, right? So this is like one of the default themes. This is the main default theme you'll get. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see it's says the trademark and then it says 2023 and the name of the store and then it says powered by Shopify okay so there's Shopify's branding to advertise their service if you click it it goes straight to Shopify we see Shopify sponsored people like Mr Beast etc right so this is all well and good right but we want to remove this because it just doesn't look professional so how do we get rid of this powered by Shopify at the bottom of the store well it's actually pretty simple so let's get to it so first what you want to do is you want to click on online store this will take us to the customization of the store specifically where we can see the themes and you'll see dawn which is the default theme and after you do that you want to click these little three dots press edit default theme content which used to be called edit languages but this is the new way of doing it right and when we go into this section you have a filter box so this lets you filter it's basically kind of like a search box guys so anything we type in here it'll filter that and search for what we're looking for so you can type in any kind of text this found across your website or theme in the theme itself and then we can either to remove it or change it so this is useful for many different reasons right so we just click in the filter box simple as that and in filter and you want to just type in powered press enter and then what it does is it shows you where on your website it uses the word powered but in this case we're looking for the phrase powered by shopify right and we have a few different results and the one we're looking for here is where it says check out and system and then links and it says powered by Shopify. So there's not actually any text in here. We can't edit powered by Shopify. We can't technically delete it, but what we can do is click on the box and just press space. After you press space, the default grayed out text just disappears. And then we just press save. So now we've saved it. If I was to go on to my so-called tutorial products test site now, I just press refresh in the top or F5, scroll down to the bottom. Let's just hide this bar. Now it says 2023 tutorial products, the name of my store, powered by Shopify, completely gone. So it's as simple as that. That's how to do it just literally in one minute. I kind of went over the top explaining it a little bit longer so you understood how the systems work. But that's how to remove it, guys. So now your store looks way more professional. Now people will trust your store and they know that you've put real effort into it and they don't know that it's linked to Shopify or at least it's not as obvious to the general average consumer, right? Because people who have common sense who know what Shopify dropshipping is, you probably don't want them to know that your store's a Shopify store or at least I guess it's best not to. So that's how to fix the problem. That's how to remove it. If the video is useful, make sure to give it a like and comment any questions below if you're struggling, if you have any problems, if you can't find the area which I showed you how to get to or if anything's just not working right on your end. Let me know any questions in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But do me a favor and subscribe because I'm going to bring you some more tips videos for Shopify and also drop shipping, how to get your first sales. And I have a full free four hour course linked at the top of the description down below, which doesn't cost you anything. So go check that out right now and I'll see you soon.